My name is Gerard Leong and I am the Director of Business Development here at ELM. ELM is primarily involved in the manufacture of state and military orders, decorations and medals. Our clients here in Singapore include the Singapore Government, the Singapore Armed Forces, the Singapore Civil Defence Forces and the Singapore Police Force. We also manufacture the swords that SEF and SPF officer cadets receive when they are commissioned. ELM's processes have definitely changed over the last 52 years. Obviously, there is a lot more use of equipment, there is a lot more use of technology and IT. Having said that, there are also a lot of processes that continue to remain unchanged. The first step in the process of making a metal is the creation of a steel die. We do this using a CNC machine. The cutter revolves at about 33,000 revolutions per minute. It takes roughly 16 hours to make two dies for a 36 mm metal. Once the dies are complete, our master craftsman make a final close examination of the die. He does this to ensure that all the details have been captured and that none of the final walls have collapsed. Our medals are made either of brass, copper or sterling silver. We make our own silver blanks by melting silver granules in a smelting machine. So the molten silver is then shaped into convenient bars which are then left to cool. Once they have cooled down, we put them through a roller machine to achieve the thickness that we require for the particular project. Once our master craftsman has deemed that the die is good, it is then ready for stamping. Stamping is the process by which the impression of the metal will now be imparted onto the blank. A critical factor during stamping is actually the amount of pressure to be used. Too little and the relief will not be good too much and the disc will be warped. Once the metal has been stamped, the edges need to be smoothed, so we send them for filing. Each piece has to be filed individually by hand. Depending on the complexity of the metal, this takes up to 30 minutes per metal. With some higher orders and decorations, enameling is required. Traditionally, enameling has been used to create fine jewellery and luxury pieces. The use of enamelling on state orders and decorations highlights the importance of these awards. ELM is one of the very few companies that has its very own in-house plating facility. This allows us to control the final appearance of the product, which is essential to the metal-making journey. The final stage of the production process involves the assembly of the metal, the sewing of the ribbons and packaging. All our ribbons are weaved from cotton and silk and are sourced from England. State honours, decorations and medals are important because they recognise merit in terms of achievement and service. They are more than a source of identity to the citizens of a nation. They are a unifying factor that helps us to recognise each other as members of the same society with shared principles and values. State honours hold us up to a higher standard, inspiring us to do more for our families, community and our nation. This is why I think medals should be made properly.